What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Subside and today I'm going to be showing you how to build an automatic sugarcane farm because after the release of 1.17 unfortunately we lost our zero tick sugarcane farms so I'm going to be showing you how to build the next best thing and that's the automatic sugarcane collection farms. So this thing is completely automatic and it can be made as big as you, as you want to build it with an automatic collection system underneath so you will literally get every single sugarcane and there will be no excess. I'll put a list of the materials needed down in the description. So without any more time wasted, let's get into the build. So to start this, you're going to need an area of about 5 by 10. And this is going to be about 6 blocks high. So you're going to start with your solid blocks. And what we're going to do is make a line. This Now this depends on how long you want to make this, but we're going to just do it with a 5 pistons or the five lines of sugarcane at the moment but like i say this can be as long as you want so we're going to start by creating a line of five blocks so one two three four and five and five so this will be at the front of the build next you want to place a temporary block on the one of the sides and when we come around the back we're going to place our dirt down so it's going to be on the back we're going to go one two three four five following this block line across Get rid of that temporary block and what we're going to do is so this part you could do it out of either glass or you could do it out of solid blocks it's entirely up to you but the sake of saving some resources we're going to do out of blocks what we're going to do is a temporary block there and there get rid of that bring this down and we're going to place a block there a block there and then you can get rid of these corner blocks if you want then grab your water bucket we can place this down in the middle like so, so this goes either side and touches all of the dirt blocks Come around the back and we want to place our rail system in. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one block here, solid block just there, one block away from the dirt. We're going to leave three blocks, dig one, dig two, three, four, and five. In the first hole, you want to pop down a block of redstone, like so. In the last one, you want to pop down your chest. If you wanted to, you can make this too wide. It's entirely up to you. Grab your hoppers, crouch, and place these going from the back of the chest up to the redstone block. Grab your solid block again. We're going to crouch and place this on the end hopper. And then we're going to grab our powered rails and we're going to place these going all the way across, all the way up until the end. Like so. Grab your minecart with hopper. I'm going to crouch and I'm going to place that on there. And if you've done that correctly, that should be bouncing back and forth now. But you can stop that if you want for now, and we can put, turn it back on when we're done. Now, whilst we're on the back, what we're going to do is we're going to place a temporary block on the back of the dirt. Build one up, get rid of the temporary block, and then we're going to build a cross like so. Now, on top of these blocks, we're going to place down our standard pistons. So, we're going to place these facing towards the water, coming across the line like so. Now, if you add a longer farm, you could, you know, this just goes all the way across then. It's up to you. But we're just going to stick with five for now. Grab your observers, come on the back because these need to be facing forwards. So place these going along. You know they're in the right direction when these red dots are out the back of the farm. So facing away from the water and you've got the faces on the water side. Coming back around the back of the build, on the back of each piston we're going to place down a solid block. And we're going to place a line of redstone going across the back like so. Around the front of the build, come to the side of the grass. We're going to build up to the top. Of the observers we're going to do this each side so from the grass up to the side of the observers grab your glass blocks and then we're going to place these coming across the front above the water so you want this on top of the water you don't have to put that there if you don't want to this can just go all the way up to the top place a temporary block on the side get rid of that one and build this across the top as well now all that's left to do on this part is just to plant our sugar cane so you can get rid of these two blocks for a second. Place on your sugar cane. I have got the tick rate up really high at the moment just to show you how it works. Replace these blocks that you've done, like so. So what will happen is when your sugar cane reaches the observers, that's going to trigger all the pistons to shoot. These sugar cane are going to rest on the grass below then. And then what's going to happen is we're going to place down our powered rail that we took up earlier. Gonna pop, pop that down. Crouch and place that. Grab a hopper minecart and we're going to send this off. So this hopper minecart is going to pick up all the sugar cane off the top of those grass blocks. So if you come around the front, we'll be able to see these disappearing. So as soon as this breaks, 
they're going to rest on top and you can see that that hopper minecart is picking all them up using these two hoppers to dispose them which goes under you and into our chest and that's your automatic sugarcane farm all done nice easy simple and quick if you enjoyed the video if you found it useful please consider subscribing we're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers now and we're almost there we're currently on i think just over 8,000 subscribers which is insane um, <laughs> so if you enjoyed the video or found it useful uh give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing this isn't my design well this is my design because i don't know off the top of my head but this uh, function of the observers and pistons um, and the minecart, I mean, someone's probably done it before. Uh, so I don't know who, so I'm not claiming I invented this. This is just a farm I use quite often. And that's because the zero tick doesn't work anymore. If you did subscribe, I'll see you in the next video. If not, hopefully we bump into you again soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.